All right, well, we are getting ready to head out of eastern Kentucky right now. Got loaded up and uh, getting ready to head back home. Uh, had a pretty good weekend down here. Got a lot done, a lot accomplished. Uh, definitely have to make some more trips back down here. There's the homestead right there, White House. Uh, this here is the garage right in front of us. And my cousin lives there next door. He's the one that actually takes care of the stuff uh, around here while us siblings are gone. But uh, what we're going to do today is, I actually forgot to do this on the way down, but uh, we're going to do a road test with the truck, fully loaded with what I have here. Truck trailer and the load on the trailer right now weighs out at uh, right at 28,600 to 28,640 pounds, give or take 40 pounds because of fuel and stuff that uh, I used up in the Mini and in the tractor. So what we'll do is uh, we'll get a uh, fuel mileage on the truck in the hills, uh, basically the whole trip from uh, eastern Kentucky down by Pikeville back up toward Columbus, Ohio. Um, we'll do that. I'll let you know what I think about the performance of the truck pulling this kind of weight uh, in the hills, uh, you know, going uphill, downhill, on the flats, you know, what I think about it. And uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Love to see, you know, 
GM and international work on, uh, and as you know, even even Ford, the uh, 650s and 750s Fords, uh, things that they could need to work on as well. Get they need to get away from the engine brake per se and do an exhaust brake or a jake brake on these trucks. Uh, as far as uh, hauling the weight, I mean, I don't feel that we're too heavy. I mean, I'm in a 550 truck and, uh, you know, we're at 28,640 pounds roughly. Um, truck can definitely haul some more than what I've got on here, no problem. Um, performance wise, as I said, you know, it takes off good, it stops good. Uh, the only the only thing that I think that they could work on a little bit would be uh, uh, getting away from the uh, engine brake and going with an exhaust brake or a, or a uh, actual Jake brake on these trucks. So I'll get you guys spun back around here. As far as that goes, you know, it handles well. Uh, it drives well. It handles the weight fine. Um, you know, I'm in I'm in Eastern Kentucky, just cruising. I'm running. I'm actually speeding. I'm running 64 and a 55. So uh, I guess I better slow down a little bit. But uh, anyway, I, the the truck has plenty of performance uh, as far as takeoff and stuff like that. I feel that these trucks uh, were designed for you know in town use mainly, uh, country use. Um, you know, uh, short deliveries. Uh, they're, I think that they would be awesome for a, um, you know, 50 to 75 mile radius from home base delivering uh, certain items or whatever, whatever needs to be hauled, whether it's a box truck or a, a reefer, you know, made into a reefer truck or a flatbed truck, whatever, or a tow truck. Um, now, with that said, I'm not saying that you can't get out here and run because that's what I bought this truck for. I bought this truck to be able to get out here and run long distances, um, you know, for the future. Uh, not in the business per se, but as far as my personal future. That's what this truck was bought for. Uh, this trip out here or down to Kentucky today was, uh, or this past weekend, was actually one of the personal reasons why I bought the truck. I've got a lot of equipment uh, that I can use down at our uh, homestead down in Kentucky. And, uh, you know, I like to get it all there at once, you know, in one shot safely uh, and be able to do that in a safe manner. So that's, that's one of the big reasons for this truck. Glad I bought it. Um, no, no big, complaints whatsoever on the truck uh, so you know if you guys are really looking at buying one of these you can not you can't compare it to a pickup truck the performance out of a pickup truck you're gonna have to compare it to like I said you know Freightliner or Kenworth or Peterbilt uh, International you know get into the class of this truck and go through the other ones in the same class you know do your due diligence do you know do all your homework your research all that stuff but as me personally or what i use this truck for i have no complaints out of it now as far as fuel mileage we'll get to fuel mileage once i get back up to the house uh still got a couple hours before we get there and uh we'll figure out what uh what the fuel mileage is going to be so, like I said, this trip one way is about 200 miles, um, and unfortunately, I did not, I, I just, on the way down, I was too excited just to get going and get down here. I never even thought about it until after I got down here, down in Kentucky. So, we're doing it on the way back, at least, um, and I do have a weight, you know, I took a picture of the weight before I left up in Ohio to head down this way. Uh, so I do have a picture of that. It's 28,000, I want to say it's 28,640 pounds total. So we'll get back on up the road here 
and uh, I'll let you guys enjoy a little bit of the scenery and uh, once we get back to uh, the house I'm actually passing the car I'm going up a hill um, once we get back to the house I'll show you the fuel mileage and uh, you know the how many miles we went and uh, we'll go from there so enjoy the scenery just backed into the driveway uh, still need to get unloaded and stuff letting the truck cool down now so let's see what we did for mileage I haven't even looked yet so let's just check it out get you spun around here all right let's see uh, it looks like we used uh, just over a quarter of a tank of fuel the trip was 186.4 miles and nine mile a gallon that's what we ended up getting out of that. So I don't think that's horrible. Um, coming out of uh, coming out of Eastern Kentucky, back up here, um, you know, loaded way I'm loaded, whatever. You know, I do have some wind wind blockage back there. Of course, you know, if you're out here hauling, you're going to have that. So as far as nine miles a gallon, uh, I think I'm just fine. I'm happy with it. Happy with the performance of the truck. Like I said, the only thing I wish that they uh, would do with the trucks, and uh, you know, I hear Dodge has a real good, uh, a real good engine brake. I guess it's an exhaust brake, not an engine brake. And as far as uh, Chevy and Ford goes, they have an engine brake. So I'd really like to see Chevy get away from the engine brake per se and get toward a exhaust brake or even a jake brake on these trucks i think that would uh really help out the uh, performance of the of the um, exhaust braking or you know the engine braking so to speak whatever uh on keeping the truck stable um what happens in these trucks as uh most of you guys know and it's with the ford and the chevy not just uh not just chevy but uh you start down or you start going down a, a hill and the truck will start into its engine brake to slow you down. Next thing you know, it's shifting gears down and revving you up. It's like it goes pretty bad. I mean, it's like uh, um, as far as, uh, what I want to say, 
it'll drop a it'll drop an extra gear than what it needs to just to slow you down and you're pushing about uh, 3,500 to 4,000 on the tack now and that's on this truck uh, and I heard the Fords are the same way uh, the way that they break now I'm gonna flip you back around and I'm gonna show you something here so when I had my 3500 trucks my 15 my 17 and my 19 all of them were the same you could drop it down into on here for some reason it's low instead of M um, and then over here you got plus and if you watch that L1 you see it moving you know there's five it'll go all the way up to six and you can manually shift this truck okay so, um, like I said, on my, uh, on my 15, my 17, and my 19 Chevys that I had, the 3,500 trucks, I, if I was on a hill and I had a, um, a heavy load on me or whatever and I was going down a hill, I would just drop it down into uh, manual, which is where the L is on this. I, like I said, it still baffles me why they put L there instead of manual but I could drop it down into there and actually hold the gear using my shifter you know plus or minus here on uh, on the shifter and uh, it would hold that gear the whole way down the hill uh, with this truck for some reason with this with this truck for some reason what it's doing is uh, it's like you know it, it doesn't hold that gear it thinks it needs to go down to another gear so um, I think that is a flaw on one of these trucks, on one of the Chevys. Not sure if the Fords are like that or not, but as far as the Chevy 45, 55, 6500 goes, they need to get that taken care of. I feel that it needs to go back to um, the manual mode where you can actually hold that gear uh, the whole way down the hill. Um, you know, and then the exhaust brake or the, the engine brake will actually help slow you down as well and it even if you hit the brake it'll still hold into that gear uh, and that's what I really liked about it so um, as far as Chevy goes I do believe that they need to change that up on the uh, 45 55 and 6500 series trucks and uh, take a little bit of that uh, 3500 series and 2500 series from the past years and uh, integrate that in with the trucks as far as the uh, as far as being able to manually shift these trucks um, other than that truck done great didn't have any problems uh, as far as the performance out of the truck you know I mean it speeds up slows down I was running 72 mile an hour 73 mile an hour in a 70 mile an hour zone um, you know uh, the truck will get up and go down the road just just like all of them will so uh, it's basically all in your preference, but as far as this goes, this trip, nine mile a gallon, didn't have any problems, done it in three and a half hours. Uh, it's six o'clock now, so um, where I'm going to go in here and spend some time with the woman. I haven't seen her since uh, Thursday morning, so uh, until next time, guys, appreciate you. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.